As stewards of our parish, your safety is our topmost concern. We have coordinated with medical experts and have taken measures to follow disinfection procedures that goes beyond and above the minimum guidelines as set by the Philippine authorities.
Our process involves a hospital-grade solution of sodium hypochlorite in concentrations as used in U.S. hospitals' operating rooms that is recommended by the United States Center for Disease Control, FDA, and the EPA. In addition to this practice, we've also incorporated high-intensity ultraviolet light disinfection and fogging machines of the church's most commonly touched, accessed, and used areas. Their sisters and brothers in Christ, these new guidelines are put in place to keep you safe. So be at peace as you celebrate the Holy Eucharist with us. Dear sisters and brothers, as restriction of mass attendance is eased, we would like to share with you the guidelines and safety procedures in attending mass at Santuario San Antonio Parish. In compliance with the IATF rules and regulations, parishioners with pre-existing chronic conditions appear to be at a higher risk of developing complications and are therefore discouraged from going to church. At the main driveway, Present your QR code and a valid ID to verify your identity and reservation while maintaining social distance at all times. A sticker with your seat number will be given to you after verification. Please attach it on the upper left side of your chest. Sanitize your hands before entering the church. Always wear your face mask. If your temperature is 37.6 Celsius and above, you will not be allowed to enter the church and will be asked to go home. You may enter the church through the middle door at the main driveway only. Instead of the traditional offertory, collection boxes are placed near the entrance of the church. Ushers will check the sticker bearing your seat number and will direct you to your seat. Avoid touching the holy water. Once you reach your pew, please check the number before sitting down. Parishioners are not allowed to change seats. There will be no holding of hands at the Our Father. There will be no handshakes at the offering of peace. A bow can already be a good sign of peace. During communion, parishioners who wish to receive the host are required to fall in line per row and maintain social distancing. Maintain a distance of one meter when receiving the host from the priest. After receiving the host, move at least two meters away from the priest before consuming the host. Put your mask back on immediately after consuming the host and return to your seat without delay. To go to the restroom, use the exit door at the back of the church. When returning to church, do the same entry procedure using the entrance door at the main driveway. After the Mass, follow directional signs to go to the exit door at the back of the church while observing social distancing. While inside the church, avoid touching the pews, images of saints, or anything else inside the church. Leave the church compound promptly after Mass to give time for the sanitation ministry to disinfect and sanitize the church for the next Mass. To our sisters and brothers in Christ, these new guidelines are put in place to keep you safe. So be at peace as you celebrate the Holy Eucharist with us.
Good afternoon. We invite you to pray the Divine Chaplet of St. Anthony of Padua. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Preparatory Prayer O Lord, open our lips to bless your holy name and that of your most holy mother through the thirteen Our Fathers, Hail Marys, and Glory Bees, in honor of your servant Anthony, whose virtues I wish, with the help of your grace, to imitate on earth, in order to enjoy your glory in heaven. Amen. <laughs> Invocations. O most glorious Saint Anthony, deliver me from the terrible death of sin and enable me to live always the precious life of grace. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O great Saint Anthony, Banish vice and error from me, and guide me in the way of true Christian faith. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O dear Saint Anthony, keep from me blindness of intellect and hardness of heart, the greatest calamities which can befall a soul. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O good Saint Anthony, drive far from me by the power of God, or the fear of hell, the illusions of the devil, which with my evil desires retard my complete conversion. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, 
Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O Saint Anthony, raised up by God to cleanse every kind of leprosy, cleanse my soul from every stain and sin. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Saint Anthony, Heavenly Physician, heal me, for to thee I disclose my wounds. Obtain for me true love of God. Obtain for me health of body as well of soul, that I may have time and courage to do penance. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Saint Anthony, Consoler of the Afflicted, the sea of iniquity is so stormy and violent that I find myself plunged and buried beneath its waves. Delay not to help me, Raise me speedily to the way of virtue. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Saint Anthony, my great advocate, the devil, the world, and the flesh spread so many snares for me that my feeble will finds it often impossible to escape them. Yet these implacable enemies will give way before thine intercession, which will obtain for me what I desire so much, the help of Almighty God. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Saint Anthony, healer of the sick, I am afflicted by evils which destroy my health both in soul and body. Obtain for me salvation, both temporal and eternal, by the most efficacious remedies of divine mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, 
Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O Saint of Miracles, the glory is everywhere apparent especially in finding things which have been lost. I am lamenting bitterly my loss of baptismal innocence. Make me find the precious grace of God and all those blessings of the soul, which by my own fault I have miserably lost. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O Saint Anthony, great worker of miracles, young and old all enjoy through thee the sweet influence of divine goodness. Whoever implores thy help is sure to obtain it, Extend then, even to me, so miserable and unworthy, thy powerful aid. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Saint Anthony, my daily helper, amid so many dangers and conflicts, I come to thee as to my defense and security. Make good my hopes and always prepare me by heavenly and efficacious grace for every misfortune that awaits me. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Saint Anthony, everybody's saint, Wants and misery afflict me in the body, much, much, but much more does sin press down upon my soul. By those numberless favors which by thy intercession God is pleased to bestow on all who have heartfelt recourse to thee, obtain for me from the giver of all good every grace that I require, both for time and eternity, especially to live and die in the holy Catholic faith. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Miraculous Responsory If then you ask for miracles, death, error, all calamities, 
the leprosy and demons fly, and health succeeds infirmities. The sea obeys and the fetters break, and the lifeless limbs thou dost restore. Vile's treasures lost are found again, when young and old died aid implore. All dangers banish at thy prayer, and direct need thou quickly flee. Let those who know thy power proclaim, let Padwan say, this are of thee. The sea obeys and the fetters break, and the lifeless limbs thou dost restore. Wild's treasures lost are found again, when young and old thine aid implore. To Father, Son, may glory be, and Holy Spirit eternally. The sea obeys and the fetters break, and the lifeless limbs thou dost restore. Wild's treasures lost are found again, when young and old thine aid implore. O blessed tongue, which was always praising the Lord and leading others to praise Him, the greatness of thy merit in the sight of God is now made manifest. Pray for us, Saint Anthony, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, may the votive commemoration of Saint Anthony, thy confessor, be a source of joy to thy church that she may always be fortified with spiritual assistance and deserve to enjoy eternal rewards through the same Christ, our Lord. In silence, we offer our petitions to Saint Anthony. Prayer to Saint Anthony. Remember, O Saint of Miracles, that you have never failed to help and to console anyone who has ever sought you in his need. I too come to thee, who am rich in graces, and who am a favored friend of the infant Jesus, confident that I do not pray in vain. Eloquent preacher of the infinite mercy of God, refuse not my prayer, but take my petition before the throne of God, so that I may have help and strength in my present trial and necessity. Listen together with my voice to that of your little friars and little orphans who ask you grace for me. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Please rise for the Angelus. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, And she conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done to me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. For forth we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may, by his passion and cross, be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Good evening. We welcome you as we celebrate the Eucharist today, the memorial of Saint Elizabeth of Hungary. Born in 1207, Saint Elizabeth was the daughter of King Andrew II of Hungary. She grew up a very religious child, married Ludwig, King of Thuringia, at 14, and had three children. As queen, she, Saint Elizabeth built two hospitals, washed and bandaged the sores of lepers, and each day, she gave thick, crusty bread, warm from the oven, to hundreds of poor people. After six years of marriage, Ludwig died in the Crusades, and Elizabeth, accused of squandering the royal purse, was thrown out of the palace, leaving her children behind. In 1227, Saint Elizabeth joined the secular Franciscan order spending the remaining few years of her life caring for the poor in a hospital which she founded in honor of St. Francis of Assisi and died at the age of 24. St. Elizabeth is the patroness of Catholic charities and of the secular Franciscan order. And because she gave so much life-giving bread to the hungry, she is also patron saint of bakers. Today's Mass is offered for the intentions requested by our parishioners, the intentions posted on live streamed Masses, and let us beg for the grace to welcome Jesus in the depths of our desires and experiences. May we be transformed by our unexpected encounters with Him. Our presider is Father Jamil Albert OFM. Please join in singing our entrance hymn. Most high, all powerful, precious God. No spoken word. Your name, praise be to you who births all life with all your creatures. Especially you, sir, brother, son.
name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us call to mind our shortcomings and our sins as we prepare to celebrate these sacred mysteries of our salvation. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. O God, by whose gift Saint Elizabeth of Hungary recognized and revered Christ in the poor, grant through her intercession that we may serve with unfailing charity the needy and those afflicted through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, heard the Lord saying to me, to the angel of the church in Sardis, write this. The one who has the seven spirits of God and the seven stars says this, I know your works, that you have the reputation of being alive, but you are dead. Be watchful and strengthen what is left, which is going to die. For I have not found your works complete in the sight of my God. Remember then, how you accepted and heard, keep it and repent. If you are not watchful, I will come like a thief, and you will never know at what hour I will come upon you. However, you have a few people in Sardis who have not soiled their garments. They will walk with me dressed in white, because they are worthy. The victor will thus be dressed in white, and I will never erase his name from the book of life, but will acknowledge his name in the presence of my Father and of his angels. Whoever has ears ought to hear what the Spirit says to the churches. To the angel of the church in Laodicea, write this. The Amen, the faithful and true witness, the source of God's creation, says this. I know your works. I know that you are neither cold nor hot. I wish you were either cold or hot. So because you are lukewarm, neither hot nor cold, I will spit you out of my mouth. For you say, I am rich and affluent and have no need of anything, and yet do not realize that you are wretched, pitiable, poor, blind, and naked. I advise you to buy from me gold refined by fire so that you may be rich, and white garments to put on, so that your shameful nakedness may not be exposed, and buy ointment to smear on your eyes, so that you may see. Those whom I love, I reprove and chastise. Be earnest, therefore, and repent. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, then I will enter his house and dine with him and he with me. I will give the victor the right to sit with me on my throne, 
as I myself first won the victory and sit with my father on his throne. Whoever has ears ought to hear what the Spirit says to the churches. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will seat the victor beside me on my throne. I will seat the victor beside me on my throne. He who walks blamelessly and does justice, who thinks the truth is in his heart and slanders not with his tongue. I will seat the victor beside me on my throne. Who harms not his fellow man, nor takes up a reproach against his neighbor, by whom the reprobate is despised, while he honors those who fear the Lord. I will seat the victor beside me on my throne. Who lends not his money at usury, and accepts no bribe against the innocent. He who does these things shall never be disturbed. I will seat the victor beside me on my throne. To honor the Holy Gospel, please rise. Alleluia, alleluia. God loved us and sent his Son as expiation for our sins. Alleluia, alleluia. alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. Lord. At that time, Jesus came to Jericho and intended to pass through the town. Now a man there named Zacchaeus, who was a chief tax collector and also a wealthy man, was seeking to see who Jesus was. But he could not see him because of the crowd, for he was short in stature. So he ran ahead and climbed a sycamore tree in order to see Jesus, who was about to pass that way. When he reached the place, Jesus looked to see Jesus. Jesus looked up and said, Zacchaeus, come down quickly, for today I must stay at your house. And he came down quickly and received him with joy. When they saw this, they began to grumble, saying, he has gone to stay at the house of a sinner. But Zacchaeus stood there and said to the Lord, Behold, half of my possessions, Lord, I shall give to the poor. And if I have extorted anything from anyone, I shall repay it four times over. And Jesus said to him, Today, Salvation has come to this house because this man too is a descendant of Abraham. For the Son of Man has come to seek and to save what was lost. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, if we reflect upon the readings today, we can easily point out to the single interconnected theme, which is the benevolence and graciousness of God and the repenting response of those who listen to, to him. The first reading is an invitation, at the same time, a warning to the two communities, Sardis and Laodicea. These communities, if you know them, they were Christians, but unfortunately, more of a ritual Christians, more of the name, but merely practicing the faith 
and the gospel values in life. And here comes this teaching by saying, there is nothing in the, mid the middle way. Whether you are a faithful or you are not. There is nothing that sometimes you are faithful, sometimes you are not. But here comes the teaching by saying, be true to the teaching and be true faithful because this is what your God, your Lord wants. And at the end of the, the reading, we see those who have ears ought to hear. My dear brothers and sisters, this is also a very relevant to us. Today, if we see throughout the world, we see there are many people who make distinction between the churchgoers as the faithful and those who do not care about these things but identify themselves still as Christians. I do agree that we don't have to judge people. We don't have to put a title that they are not Christians or they are not faithful. We have no right to do that. But still, there is a warning. Whether you go to the church or not, whether you are ritualistic followers, follower of the teaching, but you still have to be a faithful. Faithful in your word and in your actions. Your rituals may not make you a better faithful or Christian. What is important that you live the faith in your life. Whenever it is available, you are there to respond to, to live the gospel. And here comes the encounter of Zacchaeus and Jesus. This is one of the encounters that I love to, to, to reflect upon because it has so much richness in it. For me, this, the character of Zacchaeus has so much to teach us he must have heard about Jesus. He must have heard about his, his miracles and his inspiring and penetrating teaching. But because he was unliked, unpopular among people, though he had ma much possessions, materialistic wealth, but very few friends. Jewish people considered him a traitor. They did not like him. And he knew that this is a fact. He was considered a dishonest person working for the foreign rulers. And, but there was a desire. And he looks for Jesus. He runs, climbs over the sycamore tree, and he tries to see Jesus. His efforts become fruitful when Jesus looks at him and says, I am not only letting you see me here, I am going to stay with you. I am going to enter your house. I am going to share your table. And this invitation is each for each one of us. But the way one responds to the invitation makes it more worthy and more fruitful. And here is the Caius, considered a sinner even a bigger sinner, he comes and he joyfully welcomes Jesus in his house and here comes the transformation. The same person who was considered dishonest, sinner, who, whatever title you name, but here comes the transformation and wholeness of his conversion and he says he's going to give half of his possessions to the poor and then if he has taken anything uh, uh, dishonestly or accumulated for himself, he is even going to give four times. My dear brothers and sisters, encounter with Jesus is never, never a subtle. It is never, uh, never only for myself. It is not for the one who encounters Jesus. It has to be contributing to the uplift and the betterment of the society. And here comes a Caius whose conversion becomes a source of 
of contribution in the well-being of the society as he approaches to the poor. He is ready to share his blessings with the poor. My dear brothers and sisters, the lesson that we can draw from the, from the readings today is that we need to be faithful not only in words but also in our life. We need to accept even the sinners. We have no right to judge people and entitle them that uh, unworthy but ready to forgive and ready to seek forgiveness for ourselves. The third and final thing that our life has to be a life of Christ-like attitude for those we encounter in life. Please rise. In the meeting between our Lord and Zacchaeus, we see that true mercy is the most profound source of justice. We pray as sinners, on behalf of sinners, but let our, ex our prayer express confident trust in the divine mercy, and let our response be, divine mercy, bless us. Divine mercy, bless us, that the church may continue to welcome those who seek forgiveness and inner peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine mercy, bless us that those who run business and industry may be generous and just. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine mercy, bless us. That we may be prepared to welcome the Lord whenever He comes into our lives and allow Him to make His home in us. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine mercy, bless us. That the sick may see in their trials and suffering the redeeming cross of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine mercy, bless us. That the COVID-19 pandemic come to a swift resolution with the recovery of the sick, the protection of those who have been exposed, for experts to find a cure, for government and health authorities to take the appropriate steps to halt its spread, and that we, the faithful, act responsibly for the good of all. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine mercy, bless us. That the dead may be rewarded with everlasting happiness in the life of the world to come. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine mercy, bless us. In silence, let us pray for our personal intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine mercy, bless us. God, our Father, fill our hearts with your love. Give us your saving help when we fall, and keep us always in your care. We ask this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.
pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Let us pray. Receive, O Lord, the offerings of your people and grant that we who celebrate your son's work and boundless charity may by the example of saint be confirmed in love of you and of our neighbor through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, O Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence by which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bring it to experience us on this earth, the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed, holy o Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy day for these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the new food, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Broderick, our Apostolic Administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers, sisters, and children who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them all into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints and martyrs who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may marry to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we all, 
dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of a Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us share the sign of peace with one another. Peace be to you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy and blessed are we who are called to the banquet of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. May we remind everybody to please remove the face mask only after accepting the blessed host. Thank you.
let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we who are renewed by these sacred mysteries may follow the example of Saint Elizabeth of Hungary, who honored you with trials devo tireless devotion and by surpassing charity, goals of service to your people through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit and may almighty god bless you in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen our mass is offered let us go love and serve the lord thanks be to god please join us for the prayer to saint anthony of padua saint anthony keeper of scriptures pray for us Saint Anthony, provider of God's poor. Pray for us. Saint Anthony, consoler of the afflicted. Pray for us. Saint Anthony, performer of miracles. Pray for us. Saint Anthony, restorer of lost articles. Pray for us. Let us pray. Loving and merciful Father, we thank you for your love for our parish by giving us Saint Anthony of Padua for our patron saint. As we express our confidence in your love, we humbly ask you, through his intercession, to obtain for us the favor we humbly ask for. We pray to you, through the intercession of Saint Anthony, enliven our parish and empower us to be a community of love, of mercy and compassion, growing in your likeness, seeking to mature in our prayer life. Make us bearer of justice and peace in our troubled world and broken humanity. Be protectors of Mother Earth, our common home, and defenders of life and human rights. We acknowledge the abundance of your blessings in our lives. Make us reach out more and more to the poor and outcast of our society. Bless the priests, religious and seminarians, our pastoral team, parish councils and ministries, our families, especially the elderly, the sick, and the young. The answer to our prayers may require a miracle, but you have made Saint Anthony the saint of miracles, whose concern for our needs is boundless. We acknowledge your power to obtain graces from your mercy with a grateful heart. Whatever your answer will be, and however you grant our petitions, we bow to the wisdom of your will and your love for us. To you, Almighty Father, creator of the universe and humankind, through Christ the Living One, in the Spirit who makes things holy, be praise and honor and glory now and forever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen.
gentle sea.